Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be changing the brakes on the second generation Toyota Prius. I'm sure it's pretty much the same for all the generations. We got disc brakes up front and drum brakes in the back. So I've never changed drum brakes, so it's going to be a new experience for me. So here are the brake pads, shoes that I got. And this was relatively cheap. I think it was 40 bucks. So first thing we need to do is lift up the car, so off the ground, and take off this wheel. Alright guys, so the wheel is off right there and uh, no matter how nice your wheel is it's worth putting it under the car because if that jack fails or falls over you don't want the car you know crushing you so I always put my wheel underneath the car you know just in case for security reasons I mean, a jack stands would be obviously the best but I don't have any at this moment here now that we can see um, the front believe it or not is not that hard to change it's pretty straightforward you just have two bolts there's one right here and then one right here that you just break loose and this thing this whole thing should come out so it's a pretty straightforward process so let's go ahead and break those loose by the way guys this 14 millimeter on the nuts here or should I say bolt 14 millimeter so I'm just using this wrench that came with the car to uh, get more leverage this makes it very easy and it kind of curves around the wheel well so it's really simple so it's pretty easy this thing should just come right out and there it goes here's the cylinder that pushes on the brakes and here are the brake pads themselves so they just slide right out and these don't look terrible but definitely a bit worn honestly I thought they were more worn than that because of the squeaky sounds it was making alright guys so here are the new pads right here and actually you can tell that they're much thicker so I guess these things do need to be changed but uh, yeah you can tell the difference it's a pretty huge difference in any case so we're gonna go ahead and put the new ones in just like that and then the other one goes on the other side so it's a pretty simple process to put them in now the only other problem that you'll have is the cylinder here is not wide enough so you need to push this back in so sometimes that's a it's a hard thing to do but um normally i can use like this wrench or something to try to get it back so that's what i'm going to do next anyways what I, what I did is i took one of the pads out and i put it in like this and then i wedged it into here my bar or the wrench that came with the car and then just like that and then I pull it and it would go slowly so it's not very hard actually just gotta pry it on something and then the cylinder will slowly le leak back in so what's happening is it's trying to push the pressure back to the lines All right, so now we can just put in our bolts back in here. Simple as that. This stuff lines up pretty easily. One on the top and one on the bottom there. Tighten them very snugly, and that's it. So the front brakes are very simple to change. Honestly, it doesn't take more than about 15 minutes, which is pretty easy, so. Uh, I'm gonna snug them a little better off camera um, and then we'll just put our wheel back on and we'll be done so the next project and actually the one that I'm not looking forward to is doing the drum brakes which I've never done before in my life so this is definitely gonna be something an experience I know there's a lot of springs and stuff in there so but I think we can figure it out all right guys so now that we're done with the front we're gonna look at the rear here um, pretty much the same thing we're gonna take off the wheel first so we're gonna jack it up and uh, take off the wheel so 
hopefully we can get to this drum inside there. All right guys, so here at the rear, you're gonna have to, uh, don't forget to release your emergency brake because if you don't, you'll not be able to get it out. So you're gonna make sure your car's not gonna roll away on you anymore. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna try to get this drum brakes off. So when you do release your brakes, this should just spin easily, obviously. The best way to take this drum off is have the, the bolts here to, with that right thread to go in there and then it'll push it out. Alright guys, so um, I tried to beat this thing in pride a little bit, but that didn't really work. So what I did is I found a, a bolt here that fits in there. Actually, it was from the hood over there from the car. One of the bolts, and it fits perfectly. So I had to improvise since I didn't have one. But this is working for sure. Let's see if I can show you. Alright guys, so they look actually almost new. Um, I got the new ones here to compare and it's very very close to brand new so I guess they were changed recently interesting I was getting squeaky noises I was almost sure it was coming from the back here but I guess not I guess they've been replaced recently honestly I don't really want to replace them but uh, for the sake of this video I think I'm going to go ahead and do it so you guys can see how it's done and hopefully I can learn something new I know this ain't easy but I'd like to uh, figure it out, I guess. And uh, I know these kind of brakes are going obsolete, but there's, you know, going to be repairs going on on this for many years still to come. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, figure this out. These two springs here on the side need to come out. And then, like, there's a big spring here that probably needs to come out also. So I'm just going to start uh, moving things around and taking things off, and hopefully we can figure it out. <laughs> Needle nose pliers are probably going to be your friends on this job. Yep. Alright, so after a while of fighting with it, I finally got this little clamp off. So I just had these needle nose pliers. So if you had some little better tools, you should have a lot less trouble. So now this thing just comes out, and that's it. And this is how it's put together. Simple as that. It's actually not as complicated as I thought. It only looks complicated. So, I mean, there's a few things we're going to have to transfer to here. But uh, everything's pretty simple. This little spring here goes on the bottom here so not too bad to be honest but before we say anything let's go ahead and try to transfer everything to here that's the next goal Alright guys, so after fighting with it for quite a bit, I finally got it in. As you can see, the spring here. So everything looks good, so now I'm going to put this spring on. Unfortunately, it started raining, so I'm going to have to hide the camera because it's not in a sealed box. So 
Anyway, so I'm just gonna work in reverse order. Everything looks pretty good. Um, just gonna put this spring on and then put these guys on here. The little uh, retainers here. So, um, this part was a little bit hard to fight with, but um, it's not the end of the world. You just gotta put it back, simple as that. But it's definitely not easy, especially when you know you don't have all the right tools, but it's definitely possible, so not too bad overall. All right guys, so everything is in, as you can see, where it needs to be. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> so this part was definitely a little bit difficult to put in, but not the end of the world. These springs were not hard to put in at all. This spring was a little bit tight down here, but not bad either. So everything is back to where it's supposed to go. Um, you do, I did forget to mention, you do want to adjust that screw where it's the smallest like this. That way the brakes are the closest. So um, it's going to auto adjust itself. Um, we are, we can adjust it from the back as when we put the drum back on. Yeah, so everything is on here. Everything looks good. Next thing we're going to do is put on this. Pretty simple. Just goes on like that. So in order to tighten this disc, we're going to uh, tighten two of the nuts to get this thing sitting flat. So now that we can see our our disc spins really easy. So what we can do now is try to tighten it from the back. There's a little rubber seal here that comes off, and there you can access the the tightening screw right there kind of hard to see guys but it's in there so once you get that adjusted towards barely touching I don't know if you guys can hear but it's it's barely touching so <clears throat> anyways that should be good enough so now we just need to put this rubber plug back in here just like that I don't want dirt to go in there and stuff like that <clears throat> and that's it now you're ready to put your wheel back on and you're done so it's as simple as that but it wasn't too bad honestly as long as you remember where everything goes which is not that many things um, maybe it's a good idea to take pictures or video just in case you forget so you can just go back and look at that what spring goes where or how it goes um, other than that it wasn't too bad the springs were a little bit hard to stretch in some of the parts but all right guys so the wheel is on and the jack is down and everything's fine so we successfully changed the drum brakes everything should be fine I am going to go do test drive, make sure everything's good. And don't forget guys, after a few days of driving or even like 50 miles or so, uh, re-tighten these nuts again. They do tend to sometimes get a little loose once you ride around. So, because you're putting the wheel back on, sometimes not in the same, not in the same holes as it was. So it, it sits in a little bit after a while. So anyways, just make sure those are tightened. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video of changing the brakes honestly the front was super duper easy the rear here was the uh, the kicker for sure they are not easy thankfully you don't have to change these very often um, I got a bunch of other Prius videos check those out and check out my other videos on this channel and if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button alright guys thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one peace